I'm Sherry and this is Gardening in the North and today I want to share with you how you can eat greens in the dead of winter during COVID without staying in long lineups. Let's talk about what you need to get started. This is probably going to be one of the easiest projects that you have ever taken on and what I mean by that is that you probably have everything in your house right now that you need to get started. I'm going to be using my quart size mason jars, but you can use any size of container that you want. It doesn't have to be this big. I've decided to go this big because we have a family of five and I want to make sure that everybody gets to have some. Now, if you don't have any kind of size of jar in your home, you can use a water bottle. You could use even an old sour cream container. Um, I'm just trying to think of what you have, an old jelly jar that you've used the jam up and you've washed out the jar and you wanna use that. You can use anything. And just to show you what I mean, I took this water bottle and I took the lid off and I just put holes in it. I don't know if you can see that. I put holes in it by hammering in five nails thin nails into the lid, pulled the nails out. I put my um, sprouting seeds into this water bottle. I filled it up halfway with water. I let it sit overnight. And on day three, look what I've got in there. So it's pretty cool. I just wanted to show you that you can make this in any container. Okay, so let's talk about what kind of lid you could use if you're using mason jars. Now, I'm using this mesh lid and it goes right into my ring. And I got these on Amazon. I think they were under $20. But if this isn't something that you want to purchase or you want to get started right away and, you know, they're not delivering it right away, then you can do alternatives. One of the things that you can do, I have these mesh bags that I got in the produce section. Um, I think it was three to a package for like $4.50. And if you have one of these, you could just put it over top of your jar. Let me see here, I just want to hold it fairly tight. You want to put it over your jar and basically turn your lid on or turn your ring on. And essentially what you've done is created the exact same thing that this ring does. So what you're gonna be able to do now is put your seeds inside this jar and fill it up with water and this will prevent your seeds from draining out when you drain your water out. So just to give you an idea, you could also take a regular canning lid and do the same thing that I did with the water bottle by using nails and just putting small holes into that lid and then putting it in your ring, turning it on, and that way your seeds don't escape. Okay, so let's get started. This process only takes five days. In five days, I am going to have three jars filled with sprouts. It's going to be amazing. First jar I'm going to do is peas. Now I have two different kinds of peas that I'm going to use. I'm going to use um, Oregon Sugar Pod peas. And these are from Burpee. And I'm also going to use some of my um, Sugar Sugar Snap peas from Bessie Seeds. Now all you have to do is put two, two tablespoons of whichever seeds you're using in each jar. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of those ones. And one tablespoon of those ones. Put those ones over there. I'm then going to pour my water in. away in a nice dark area and I'm going to leave it overnight tomorrow morning which is going to be day one I'm actually going to rinse out this water 
put more water in, rinse that water out, and then leave it sitting upside down so that any additional water can drain out for 12 hours. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. The next one I want to do, actually, I'm gonna do the organic sprouting seeds, alfalfa from West Coast Seeds. So again, you only need to put in two tablespoons. And I guess I should have opened it prior to starting the video. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put two tablespoons in. And you want to make sure you do do it up in case you knock it over. And again, I'm just going to fill it up about halfway. It's all the water you need. You really just need to cover them a little bit, put a little extra so that if they absorb some. And again, there we go. Now, the third one. I want to do a mixture of a lot of seeds that I've that I have in my seed collection and what we're going to start with is um, we're going to do broccoli so basically what I'm going to do is start filling my spoon up because I know that I need two tablespoons so I'm going to use uh, broccoli seeds from West Coast seeds I'm going to use radish seeds from Ontario Seed Company. I'm going to use kale seeds from McKenzie. And then I'm going to use mustard greens from Ontario Seed Company. Okay, and so that gave me, from using all of those seeds, I'm going to say roughly three quarters a tablespoon full. So I'm going to pour that in, and then I'm going to add in the alfalfa to make up the difference. So I'm going to add in a little bit to make that the full tablespoon, and then another tablespoon. Okay. And then we're going to add water. on and like I said I'm going to put these away in my pantry and I'm gonna leave them overnight and tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I'm gonna pick 7 a.m. I am going to drain this water put more water in just to rinse them drain that water out and then put them back in the pantry but I'll bring you back when I do that all right guys it's the next day so this is officially day one of your day five growing your own sprouts. Now I'm gonna show you how to drain and rinse them. And I'm gonna do this twice a day, but I don't think that you need to see me doing it twice a day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you each jar before I rinse them, just so you can see the seeds and what they look like on day one. And then I'm gonna bring you back on day three after I've been rinsing and washing them twice a day, so every 12 hours, and I'm gonna show you on day three what they look like and how they have already started to spread. So let's get started. The great thing about the lids that I'm using is that I can actually just dump the water out through the lid. I don't have to remove the lid. There's no risk of my seeds getting lost down the drain. So I just wanna show you they look like so some of them are floating it looks to me like they're they have absorbed a lot of the water which is what you want so I'm just going to dump that out it's that easy and then I'm going to fill it up enough to just get all of the water moving around and you can see I think you can see the color change so you wanna make sure that you're rinsing all of that. And again, it's that easy. Okay, now there is still going to be some liquid left in your jar. 
but you want to make sure that you get that liquid out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bowl. It's actually the plastic part of my lettuce strainer. And I have a, um, a dish towel inside of it just to keep the, the jars standing at the angle that I want them to be at. So I'm just going to put them in here on an angle upside down so that any of that excess water that didn't drain out can drain it throughout the day. Okay, so I'm just going to set it in like that. And then again, here are the peas. And you can see the color change a bit on that as well. It's a pretty pink color. And then this is the mixture one where I put everything that I wanted in here. So the broccoli, the mustard greens, the radishes, the alfalfa, everything is in here. back in my pantry you want to keep it in a nice dark area hey guys today is day four and I know I said I'd bring you back on day three except that yesterday was a bit of a jammy day combined with using our new food processor so we made some pizza pizza dough we also made homemade hummus which is delicious and banana bread so Take a look at the jars on day four. Okay, and let's take a look at the other ones. So this one isn't as full, but it's doing pretty good as well. And then this one is taking a little bit longer to do anything. It They've sprouted, but this jar might be a bit of a epic fail, but at least we have two other jars that are doing really well. Now, this could be due to the fact that it is, you know, a colder temperature right now. We keep our house fairly cool and um, that might have something to do with it. So I may um, let this one go a little bit longer to see if the sprouting is going to take and increase. I mean, I can see that all of them are doing pretty good in there. Um, they're just not doing as good as the alfalfa sprouts and all the other seeds that I used. So let's rinse them all out. And so what I've been doing is I've just been filling the jars and putting them down on the counter until all of them are filled. And then I slowly start to drain them. Just to show you, I've just filled this one right up to the top. I just want to make sure that all of the sprouts in there get some moisture on them before I dump it out. Now this one here is right at the top. Again, this one is the alfalfa and of course they did amazing. And this was only two tablespoons of seeds. All right, so I'm just going to drain them out.
and then I'm gonna just leave these on the counter till tomorrow. Hey guys, take a look at this jar. <gasps> five days, that's all this took was five days. Now I took the lid off last night only because I felt like it needed to expand a little bit. So I'm gonna pull all of these out of the jars and rinse them off and put them in a bowl, put them in the fridge, and we will start eating these today at lunch. So one of the things that I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna shred up some carrots, some celery, some peppers, add it all in with these, mix it up as if this was my, gra my salad greens, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of salad dressing, a little bit of feta, maybe some sun-dried raisins that we made with some um, nuts and stuff and add a little bit of chicken on top and that will be our lunch. It's going to be amazing. So come with me. I'm going to pull all of these out of the jar and rinse them off and show you how much is actually in each jar. Take a look. This is from putting two tablespoons of seeds into each quart size jar and basically rinsing them every day and throwing them back into the closet, the pantry, whatever you have. So as I said, we will be making salads out of this and this will last us because we're adding to it probably two lunches and a dinner. Now, if we decide to make sandwiches and add this instead of the leafy greens, this would even last us longer. Let's take a look at the failure. <laughs> so I'm starting to get some green in there, but it's really not sprouting the way I thought these would sprout. So I think what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna keep going. This obviously is not a five day project in the dead of winter. And it could be that my house is just a little bit too cool for these to really sprout up nice. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just keep putting, I'll keep rinsing these with water twice a day and I might even just leave these in the window and see what happens. Thanks for spending time with me.